Hello everyone, my Sarian here, and I'm going to play Quester in the, the Sudden Check mod at rank 16. So, now what gun do I want to bring? If I bring one of the ultimate, the uh, Quester ultimate guns, then the it'll buff the kings and boss by a lot. But I probably need to because look at all these pieces I'm adding. I don't think the regular guns are gonna cut it. Okay, is the flamethrower good? Well, okay. What if we if we compare the flamethrower to the Regal Beagle Supreme? The flamethrower has better accuracy and the same firepower, but worse everything else. What about the? The ray gun is kind of interesting. It has... Oh, it has unjust decree and a whole bunch of piercing. Huh. Yeah, the camper's favorite... Oh, the camper's favorite has five degree fire arc. You know what, let's, let's try the camper's favorite. Like this is... Oh, it's not actually five degrees it's okay maybe this is not the good gun for this mode or for this rank they need like extra barrels and stuff but let's see we can take out multiple pieces in a single shot it's like, is the raw firepower good enough to justify something that's so little ammo? Being able to one-shot rooks pretty easily is is nice. That makes the that makes the game a lot more uh, fun for me, I guess. Okay, so if I can get more, if I can get a bigger clip. Okay, plus one blade, nobody cares. Plus one firepower doesn't really matter. Tall perks, really good. Anti-camping measures, does nothing as long as I get off the edge of the board quickly. Alright. The, um... The tall perks will... make it easier to, uh, reload my gun. Uh, okay, I have, I have a soul card, so this is fine, actually. Alright, we got our queen soul back. Let's go. Yeah, having, having enough damage to easily one-shot multiple pieces is pretty satisfying, even though this might not be the best gun for the job. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, blade and firepower, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Add two bishops, and bishops can heal. Well, because we have a very high amount of firepower, the healing doesn't seem to matter too much. We can just one-shot stuff. But also, after seven turns plus three ammo max, <laughs> Ermine Belt got nerfed. I never expected Ermine Belt to get nerfed. <laughs> okay. Pawns faster, but who even, who even cares about pawns being faster? We can just wipe them all out super easily. The only, seems like the biggest danger in these runs is going to be accidentally, like, getting discover checked. Oh. Alright, well, I gotta shoot this bishop. Yeah, I shouldn't be messing around with Taunting Cop anymore. Okay, can we, can we one-shot both of these? Yeah, it's guaranteed. Got the queen and the rook in a single shot. Don't have that happen. Okay. 
in in the base game if you're playing rank 15 rooks just have way too much health and queens also have enough health that it's hard to like you're, you're, you're never really going to be able to one shot a queen and a rook at the same time in the base game okay one more shot okay we have unlimited range, so this seems really good. This uh, inner carbon barrel. A triple barrel is also really good, but maybe my fire arc. Maybe my fire arc needs to not be too wide. Let's just go with the, the accuracy. I like accuracy. Oh, when I was looking at the. When I was looking at the cards, it was showing that I had a sweet fire arc. But that's just on... Um... Whoops. What am I doing? That's just when I'm... That's just when I'm on the edge of the board. Um... <coughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm using a queen soul. Oh, and I'm getting on the edge of the board, which isn't ideal, but it's fine. Losing, uh, what, two firepower? On the edge of the board, it's fine, because we have so much firepower. Alright, I need to I need to see what exactly this does. Yeah, two minus two firepower and worse accuracy. Yeah, if I had realized that the, I don't know, the triple barrel might have been the better pick. Okay. Uh, kind of a nothing card, and add a knight is also kind of a nothing card, so this is a very tame option. What is this? Um... All pieces are faster, but we get a moat. Huh. And all pieces are slower, I get less range. All pieces have plus one health, which is irrelevant. Yeah, so this seems really strong. Yeah, let's just get off the edge of the board. So yeah, pieces... Um, yeah, they have plus one health, because we have... Very high firepower, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the moat and deep waters combined into a single card. Pretty strong. Whoop. The king has so much health that I do feel like I need to clear everything out. Bye, Rook. <laughs> the moat, the deep waters moat, helps me speed run the end of the level. Okay, fire arc plus 20, or... Or I just add two bishops, like, who cares about blade, who cares about fire range? It's just, do I want plus 20 degree fire arc, or do I want to add two bishops every 15 turns? I already have a black mist. I don't really think I need another. And yeah, we do so much damage that the healing doesn't matter too much. I'm still gonna like try to eliminate bishops sooner rather than later, but I still don't think it's worth fretting about them too much. Oh yeah, the, the pawns can actually like attack me now that they're not in the boat. One thing that's kind of funny about healing bishops in in a deep in combined with deep waters is they'll just stay in the moat forever and never be able to attack.
Executed piece without any my turn. Yeah, so Bushido, but with only four blade is not going to be very impressive. But I think it's better than shaky hands. I like having my accuracy. I want my, I want my sniper build. Look at this, five degrees fire arc. Like it's not something I need, but it's something I want. Oh, that annoying knight. Why can't everything just be affected by the moat? Yeah, because the moat clearly needs to be buffed. Anyway. Uh, I guess we're going on the edge of the board for a turn. Oh yeah, conscription... I mean, conscription has the, has the potential to be dangerous, I guess. We'll get multiple pieces on the same line. The bishop was too smart. And yet Tony Pop allowed me to crack that anyway. There, goodbye. Um Okay, well I lose my sniper build, but I get spam click seems really powerful. Even if I'm not planning on unjust decreeing anything. Well, in this case, I don't know, this is gonna, this is gonna waste all my ammo and have to be very but that's okay. little bit of a clock, I guess. Not really. Because even if I, if I clear everything out and then my accuracy is like kind of awful, then that's okay. We, we will only have pawns that we have to clear out. Um, okay. So this is plus 10 degree fire arc for plus one firepower. And jesters, or I could just get a soul slot and add a knight. Hmm. Yeah, I really like having as much accuracy as possible. All right, let's go. Yeah, the king has way too much health for me to be right clicking. But I am sure I'm gonna try. Oh wow, he's actually down to three. Okay. All right, get out of here. Okay, so I can still burst down the king. Yeah, I should have just done that in the first place. Um, okay. More ammo regen, I guess that's good. Yeah, I would take the ammo regen over the ammo max. Um, yeah, this all seems pretty good. All pieces plus one speed, that's fine. I have, what, foggy mixture that's making pieces very slow, so I can afford to make them a little faster. Or I could just take the candle. No, I'll take Battle of Swiftness. Alright. Oh, right, I'm supposed to be right clicking. Oh, yeah, and I get my extra max ammo from Pilot's Supply Drop. Okay. Uh, you know what? You can just get out of here. There we go. Cool. Okay, 25 damage or something. Yeah, that's fun. Um, or I can get a cannonball. No, I'll take the death pie and the jester. Jesters? How many is it? Three, okay. 
Okay, it's turn five. So in two turns, I'll get that extra ammo max. Do I even want to, like, death pie something? I mean, I guess if I was having trouble killing queens and rooks, then I would want to death pie them. Alright, let's regenerate some ammo. How much health does this guy have left? 31. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to read that out to myself. Read that. Whatever. <laughs> that king has a lot of health. Okay. Well, good thing we have a lot of damage. I think it was the arms race mod where where the boss had a million that had had a. I don't think he. I don't think he had this much health, but he had a lot of health, and it was a lot harder to get uh, huge damage. You get enough damage to start competing with that. Okay, so at this point, yeah, I just gotta wipe out the bishops, and then it's gonna be one pawn every six turns. I'm going to get at that bishop right now, and... I'm gonna just regenerate leverage my... My four, or my, my four clip size. Oh, if I want to, my reloading animation will override the regenerating. Actually. Can the boss attack while in a deep water spot? Yes, you can. Oh, if his top side is in the moat, he can't. If his bottom side is, and he can. Okay, so I can just... I can't attack this guy. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, as you notice, I did disable the, or I did undo my uh, change where the Black Bishop fight can trigger without the required cards. Okay, so he retrieved his treasury. Were there any red coins in there? I have to know. <laughs> yeah. And we, you know, we rescued those guys, whatever. Is there a rank 17? Nope, no rank 17. Okay, cool. It's just rank 16. So, yep. That's where I'm gonna call it. I don't think there's... There isn't a whole lot else I wanna do in this mod. I know it's getting an update soon, so when it gets updated, I'll uh, definitely have to check it out. I think there, I think it was, there was gonna be a secret ending like an actual secret ending added to this. But other than that, I don't know, I could try out some other guns. But yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.